Hello everyone, my name is Holly Christmas and I'm one of Santa's tallest elves at the North Pole. And I love reading books, but I don't just read Christmas stories, I love to read lots of different stories and I love to read all year round. And it's really exciting because I've been asked to do a special story time for all the wonderful boys and girls at Glasgow Children's Hospital. So, are you feeling comfortable? Would you like to hear a story? Okay. The first one I've chosen for our very first story time together is the gift book of nursery rhymes. It's a beautiful old book, but it's really ancient. <sighs> a bit like Santa Claus. <gasps> Don't tell Santa that I said he was ancient, otherwise he'll send me out into the field to pick up all the reindeer poo. <laughs> there are so many reindeer in the fields. I wonder what else we see in fields. Maybe some horses? And that's a coincidence because the first nursery rhyme that I'd love to read to you is all about a beautiful white horse. Can you see it? Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, she shall have music wherever she goes. <gasps> Isn't that wonderful? Look at all the bells on the harness. And look at the beautiful dogs running alongside her. And the boys and girls, they're all having fun on their horses too. Have you ever been horse riding? I love to go horse riding, galloping through the fields. Right, let's see, what next? Oh, this is a fun one. It's all about maths. I'm not very good at my maths homework. I have to work really, really hard. Do you have maths homework that you have to do sometimes? Do you find it a bit tricky? Just like this little boy. Multiplication is vexation. Division is as bad. The rule of three perplexes me and fractions drive me mad. <laughs> fractions drive me mad too. Now here is a pretty nursery rhyme. It's all about a little girl who keeps a beautiful garden. Do you have a garden? Even if you don't have a garden, if you've got a windowsill, you can plant some lovely herbs or some lovely little flowers. And you can be like, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <gasps> She's got a lovely little puppy there. He's being very good. He's listening to her. She's talking to him. She's got her watering can because the plants get very thirsty when the sun's shining. We get really thirsty too, and it's important to drink lots of water, isn't it? Oh, I like this one. It's all about a magical sailing ship that has a duck for a captain. I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea. And it was deeply laden with pretty things for me. There were raisins in the cabin and almonds in the hold. The sails were made of satin and the mast was made of gold. The four and twenty sailors who stood upon the decks were four and twenty white mice with rings about their necks. The captain was a duck, a duck, with a jacket on his back. And when the fairy ship set sail, the captain, he said, quack, quack. I've got a duck. Wonder if he'll maybe say quack to you. Hello. Are you going to come and say hello to all the wonderful boys and girls at Glasgow Children's Hospital? You are? Would you like to say a very special message for them? Okay, you ready? <laughs> He's saying, I hope you're all feeling much better soon. That's very kind of you. Now, would you like to hear some more stories? Okay, I'll sit you back here so that you're nice and comfortable. What's next? Hmm, I think I'd like to read another story about a field. Let me see. I know there's a wonderful one in here about a little boy who falls asleep when he's supposed to be looking after the cows. Little boy blue, come blow up your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where is the boy that looks after the sheep? 
He's under the haycock, fast asleep. I nodded off there. <laughs> Do you snore when you sleep? I don't. Do I? <laughs> Little Bo Peep, she lost her sheep and couldn't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Oh, I like this one. It's all about a pussycat that plays a violin. I've got a violin, can you see it? There it is. Do you play a musical instrument? They're good fun to play, aren't they? Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. <gasps> Look at the dog laughing. That cow can jump really high if it can jump over the moon. Here's one about bad weather. <gasps> There's a doctor, he's got his doctor's bag, but oh my goodness, he stepped into a very big puddle. Do you like splashing in puddles when it's raining? Put on some welly boots, grab an umbrella, put on a nice waterproof coat, go and run in the rain and splash around. You'll be able to do that soon, won't you? Hmm. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his middle and never went there again. Hmm. Here's one about a pussycat. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. Meow. I'm sure the Queen was very happy that the pussycat frightened away the mouse. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Oh, this one sometimes has music that goes along with it. Do you know the grand old Duke of York? Will we sing this one instead? Will you sing with me? Do you know it? You'll be able to sing along soon once you get the melody. You ready? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had a thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, and when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> we do that one again. You're going to clap your hands this time. Yes? Okay. You ready? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, and when they were up, they were up. Yeehaw! And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done! Oh, that's a good one. All right, let me see. Let me find another good one. I've got a lovely one about counting. Let's see if I can find it. Do you like to count? You got 10 fingers and you can wiggle? Okay, let's see if we can count this one together. All right, let me see if I can find it. It's back here, we go. There we go. A nice counting nursery rhyme. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, Pick up sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Eleven, twelve, dig and delve. Thirteen, fourteen, maids a courting. Fifteen, sixteen, maids in the kitchen. Seventeen, eighteen, maids are waiting. Nineteen, twenty, my plate is empty. I like that one. Right, let's see. Oh, this is a good one. It's another one about a queen. She doesn't look very happy though. She looks quite cross. I wonder why. Will we find out? The Queen of Hearts, 
she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts <gasps> and with them ran away. <laughs> no wonder she's cross, naughty knave of hearts. Although I must say, those tarts look very tasty. I feel like a tart. Hmm, a nice strawberry tart. Yum. All right, let's see. Thinking of baking. Oh, eggs. Don't know why that popped into my head. Here's one about Humpty Dumpty. In fact, we can sing this one too. Do you remember how it goes? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh dear, poor Humpty. Humpty needs to go to Glasgow Children's Hospital. They'd be able to put him together there, wouldn't they? Absolutely they would. They're very clever and they're very good at working so hard to look every after everyone. All right, let's see. I would like to read this one. Rockabye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Down will come baby, cradle and all. Just as well there's a trampoline underneath this cradle. You can't see it, but the baby wouldn't come to any harm. <laughs> Have you got a trampoline? If not, sometimes you can jump on your bed. Pretend your bed's a trampoline. <gasps> Don't tell anyone I said that. Here we go. We're almost at the end of all of our stories. Oh, maybe we should read some lovely little bedtime stories. What do you think? How many miles to Babylon? Four score miles and ten. Can I get there by candlelight? I am back again. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, rapping at the windows, crying at the lock. Are the wee ones in their beds? For it's now eight o'clock. Is that your bedtime, eight o'clock? It's really important to get a good night's sleep every night, isn't it? Oh, look at this one. This reminds me of my friends. There's always somebody that wants to make supper. There's always somebody that wants to keep reading and I always want to go to bed because I get really sleepy. Come let's to bed, says sleepy head. Tarry a while, says slow. Put on the pan, says greedy nan. Let's sup before we go. Mind you, it's a good idea to have some supper before you go to bed. Now, this is my favorite, favorite nursery rhyme. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know it? Do you like looking at the stars at night time? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. We do that one, one more time before we say goodbye. Can you make a little twinkly? shapes with your hands. You're gonna sing along with me. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Are. Well done! That was amazing! Thank you so much! Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you were able to take the time to listen to my story times and I hope to be able to do some more stories with you. Until then, stay safe, stay well. A big Holly Christmas kiss from me. I'll see you next time. Bye bye! bye.